Hello, hello! This is a reference video for you to practice some of the technique for student date level six at home on your own. We just have only so much lesson time, so it's hard to cram it all in there, and I thought it might be really useful to have a reference to watch uh, in between lessons. So today, we're gonna go over the scales you will need to know for level six student day. You need to know two major scales, A flat and D flat major, and then two minor keys, but minor scales, there are three different ones and you need to know all three of those. So let's start with the majors first. We're going to start with A flat major. I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see my hand. A flat major, um, the order of the flats, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, right? B flat, E flat, A flat, etc. Um, A flat, well, the, the key signatures, the flat key signatures, their name for the second to last flat. So we have to go through the order, go past A flat one. So B, E, A, gotta go past one more, D. So we have four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat that we need. So here and here. Those are your black keys for this scale. Now your left hand is gonna start with finger three. You're gonna cross with four. And then back with three. So let's do a full two octaves here. Cross with four. Three, four, and back down until four, until three, four, three. All scales kind of alternate a bigger group and a smaller group like that. The right hand is also going to start with three. We're not going to cross until after four. On the flat keys, right hand finger four is always on B flat. All of the flat keys, F major, B flat, E flat, A flat, all the flats. Right finger, right hand finger four is on B flat. So it'll be three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now this is tricky. We didn't play four because we didn't need to go past A flat, but this is my big group. So I've done three, two, one, and I do three, two, one again because right hand four goes on B flat. Three, two, one, four, three. So that's what's a little tricky about the A flat scale is the right hand. Just remember, both hands start on finger three. Both hands. A flat is played with finger three. Thumbs go on C for both hands. And you can play these hands separately to practice. You will need to do them hands together for student day. So having that landing point of both hands land on your thumb on C and they both start with finger three, that's very helpful. So I'm gonna play it slowly, hands together. They both start with three, thumbs, right, left hand's four here, right hand cross, three in your left hand, thumbs together, cross with four, cross with left hand, three back down, left hand thumb, right hand three over, thumbs together, right hand four, coaching anything so you can just play along. One, two, ready, go. scales now, or the minor types of scales. So there's three different minor scales. Natural minor. Natural minor is the exact same notes as the relative major. Then you've got harmonic minor where you raise the seventh. And the reason why we do that, the seventh note of the scale is the third note, the middle note in the five chord, and we want a major five chord. So we raise that instead of a minor five chord, we raise it a half step. And then you've got the melodic minor scale. So the melodic minor scale on the way up, you play, uh, you raise the sixth and the seventh on the way up and you lower the sixth and seventh on the way down. So what that looks like is um, the way down, you're basically playing a natural minor. On the way up, you're almost playing the major scale for that key, except for the third note. The third note is lowered. So I'm gonna play F minor. We just talked about A flat major. Now we're gonna talk about the relative minor, which is 
F minor. We'll go over that now and it will probably make more sense when you see it with a specific scale as an example. So F minor, um, let me back up. Major keys to find the relative minor, you go down three half steps. So here's my A flat, down, land on F. So F minor has the same key signature as A flat major. So I'm gonna have these four flats. So to play a natural scale, natural minor scale for F, I literally play a regular, just the same notes from F to F. The fingering is the same as F major. We'll do the right hand now so you can see the right hand fingering there. Um, just like an F major, we wait to cross until after the B flat. It's the same thing with the minor. Let's talk about the harmonic minor. We're gonna still have the same key signature, but instead, this is our seventh note, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. I'm gonna raise it up a half step. So it's gonna be an E natural now, so we've got a half step between our seventh note and our tonic getting back to home base. So that will look like this. Raise the seventh. we're the most used to hearing the harmonic minor it's the most common and of course you'll need to play these hands together I'm only playing one hand at a time so I can hold the phone with my other hand all right melodic minor this is the weirdest one so the six and the seventh notes here's your first five right so the six and the seventh are these two notes on the way up we raise them so instead of flat, they're now natural. On the way down, we lower them. I'm gonna play one octave slowly so you can see. <laughs> okay, let's talk about that one more time. Another way to think of it is that on the way up, it's just like an F major scale, right? Except for the third note is lowered. See how that's just like F major except for that one note? And then on the way down, it's the natural minor. So that's another way to think of it. You change, you alter the sixth and seventh, up going on the way up, it's raised, on the way down, it's lowered. Or you can think of it on the way up, it's like a major scale with a lowered third, on the way down, it's the natural minor. So I hope that makes sense. Um, all of these need to be hands together. And the tricky thing, um, it's probably the most tricky thing is probably the melodic minor because it changes um, But the fingering thankfully for this one is the same There's actually some melodic minor scales where the fingering is one way going up and one way going down. That's tricky But we want to be able to play it like this. Here's the natural minor And except for the very bottom and the top it's your thumbs together on F and it's always your thumbs together on C. And it's the same thing when we make it harmonic, we'll raise the seventh. And the same fingering when we play melodic. Oops, sorry. Distracted myself and played the natural minor first. Uh, so it's raised sixth and seventh first. So there's A flat major and F minor. You also need to know D flat major. So let's talk about that now. D flat major is one of our inharmonic keys that uses all five black keys. So we have five flats, B, E, A, D. We gotta go one more, G. So B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat, all five black keys. So the fingering here is based on those black keys. We're going to play the groups of two with our peace signs, groups of three with two, three, and four. Thumbs go on the white keys. So for D flat, um, the hardest thing to know what to do since we're playing all the black keys is to know which white keys to choose when we have two to choose from. 
And in this case, it's actually the higher one each time. The left hand fingering is the same concept. Peace signs on two black keys, two, three, four on three black keys, thumbs on white keys. The great thing about D flat major is that your thumbs are always going to be together on those white keys. So you've got these landmark moments you can aim for that will help you when you put in hands together. Um, so here's D flat major, two octaves, hands together. talk about the relative minor. So three half steps down, B flat is the relative minor for D flat major. Hello. And your B flat minor is one of the more challenging minor keys. So let's get into this a little bit. Let's start with the natural minor. And again, because we still have all five black keys, those are going to dictate our fingering. We're actually gonna use the exact same fingering principle. We've got two and three. So we're gonna start two, one, three, two, one. So your natural, B flat natural minor is using the exact same fingering, same notes, you're just starting on B flat, right? And same kind of thing for your right hand up here. harmonic minor because we want to have a um, major chord for our five chord there. We're going to raise that seventh note. We don't want, we want, do you hear how stronger, how much stronger that is? It's just more powerful. So we're going to change that A instead of an A flat, we're going to raise it to an A. though so pause right here and look at my group of three black keys instead of this I'm now playing this but it's the same fingering oh sorry I moved my camera a little bit and right hand same thing Melodic minor. <laughs> so, melodic minor, we change the sixth and the seventh going up, so these two notes are now raised, and then they will be lowered on the way back down. So, in other words, you can think about B flat major, which has just two black keys, but uh, we're lowering the third on the way up, but we're using the fingering for the same fingering that we've been using, not like B flat major. We're using fingering like D flat major. And then let's keep going. Oops. That's what I get for trying to talk and play at the same time. Let's do that one again. So here's the melodic minor for B flat minor again. Scales do need to be hands together, and I will play just the melodic minor for you um, so we can talk about it's the most challenging one. So, again, thumbs are going to be together on C and on F. Those are 
all the scales you need to know for level six student day. Happy practicing.